This is Property Focus, your window into the world of architecture, building construction, and real estate. I'm Peter Ngigi. Welcome to the show. The modern developer is keen to possess the most brilliant, outstanding, and most unique building in the city. Almost synonymous to the word brilliance in modern facades is glass. Think of any recent high-rise building in Nairobi and you got that right. It's unmistakably covered in glass. In today's show, we'll be looking and exploring glass architecture through the lenses of the iconic Prism Tower. Next off, we'll be demystifying land acquisition in Kenya, answering the most sought after questions by aspiring property developers and owners. Our guest is going to take us through a step-by-step -step process of just how to purchase land, what documents to have, which offices to visit, and last but not least, how do you identify a credible land agent? Get your pen and paper, you're gonna to want to know more. At the tail end of the show, we're going to explore and show you how to bring character and add life to your spaces with classic moldings, interior textured finishes. Stay tuned. Until the 70s, glass was mostly used for windows in buildings in Kenya. Glass facades were misunderstood and mistrusted by the professionals and not to mention by the general public. It carried with it an element of risk, danger, and even a substance that could allude to death. Simply put, glass structures were not considered to be fortresses, but not until the 80s when the first glass structure was built and people became comfortable with the idea. Now this trend has spread like wildfire and developers prefer to use glass facades instead of concrete buildings. Today, the Nairobi skyline is filled with glass skyscrapers and we're at one such address, at the Prism Tower. We're going to be talking to the lead consultants on this project who will take us from concept design and implementation of the property. So you guys are the most iconic building in Upper Hill. Well, indeed, this was our own preference. And the main reason why we chose the glass facade was uh, we wanted, uh, you know, Nairobi is a very uh, scenic uh, city. So what we wanted to do to explore the strategic location of, our, of our, the Prism Tower to give the clients who come uh, let the offices in our building. We wanted to give the scenery of the whole Nairobi on all four fronts. So that was the main reason why we chose the glass facade okay. and we wanted to do something unique. The Ooh. Nairobi skyline which no mm -hmm. other building around at the moment. What else does the building have to offer? This mm -hmm. building I think it has everything. One person asked for. It has gym, it has its own cinema, it has its own wow. uh, restaurant, it has a swimming pool, it has sauna, it has everything in it. Wow. So you know, Siku Easy work is a lot of stress. So once if you let uh, office here, you know, you want, uh, you, go, you check the scenery out and everything, it refreshes your mind in the morning. Fantastic. Tell us about the concept of this building. The thought process came, why don't we stack prism on prism? and derive a form which can be an iconic or a landmark for Nairobi. We started having prism on prism and it, the entire complex, entire building derived with the stacking prism on prism. But still we wanted something, a very different eye approach. So the approach was that the client was like an incident ray. With any lights, any light passes through a prism, it emerges out with seven different colors. And it was to create a landmark for Nairobi. And indeed we have successfully done that. So you use the number of materials. Tell us about uh, why you chose the element glass and uh, how you came about. So we thought of using glass all around the building and definitely to support the glass, the basic element is aluminium. So now the glass what we have used here is a DGU, double glazing unit, which it's used as a thermal insulation. So the heat which is inside or whatever the climate is inside is controlled and the outside okay. climate also is controlled. The building has been designed 
like we each floor plates have okay. four four offices each offices are like n suite they have their own toilets own kitchen cabinets and the okay. common toilets so we have tried to incorporate all the amenities it's a vision of a client which has helped us to build these things and mr moise how are you doing sir very fine tell us about uh, the added features to the building the added features are the fire safety we have a fire lobby mm. and then we have a specialized door where you come out from and there's a fire staircase you can lead down to your, to the external part of the building we have also on the terrace floor mm -hmm. we have uh, a system it's called a bmu system a building maintenance unit which uh, it's kind of a crane which uses uh, it, it has a cradle which cleans the facade the glass facade especially oh. installed for the cleaning of the glass facade which is done approximately around uh, every three or four months we have a very advanced security system mm -hmm. here starting from the parking level coming to the reception level you mm -hmm. cannot in enter the building without a uh, access card we have a lower ground floor and upper ground floor and then we have another four levels of parking plus that we have introduced a new level of stack parking which is a mechanical system uh, park a car on above each other with a mechanical lift Now, still at Prism Towers on matters concerning structural engineering. Right from the foundation till the very top floor. How did you, on a structural perspective, just get it all together? As is known for this magnitude of a project, okay. we started uh, with the uh, geotechnical survey of the site. Uh, after we did the geotechnical survey, it did inform us on the kind of foundation we ended up with. Uh, this building is sitting on a uh, a raft foundation, roughly in the region of two meters thick. Uh, we did design for earthquake. We also did design for weed. We also consider the live load of the occupants. We also did uh, consider the dead load for the structure. Uh, we ended up uh, opting for reinforced concrete structure, literally because of av availability of the materials in the local market. If you look at the height of the building, uh, considering the lateral roads of earthquake and weed, we didn't have to take it very seriously. Think of a person on the last floor, uh, there is an earthquake. Imagine of the sway. So we ended up with uh, a very strong design. But the person up there, in case of any earthquake, does not feel the sway. So, uh, how we anchored the glass facade mm -hmm. is we have a structural steel structure okay. that is bolted onto the reinforced concrete structure that now carries the glass facade, which is on an aluminium uh, framework. And next up, we'll have Properties of the Week. Do not go away. Midtown Apartments, a development by Soil Merchants Properties, is built to deliver all the conveniences of a big city's lifestyle in a safe and secure urban setting. Located in Gara area along Chambers Road off the Globe Roundabout, just 5 minutes walk to the CBD with unlimited dual water supply, high speed lifts, Ample parking, 24-hour security with CCTV surveillance and a health club. Get a two-bedroom apartment, master and suit with state-of-the-art finishing at 6.8 million Kenya shillings cash offer price and 7.9 million Kenya shillings for mortgage buyers. Recreational facilities and shopping centers at your doorstep. SMS home to 21595. For more information, contact 0790-771-677. In the vast green Kiambu County, surrounded by luscious coffee plantations, flowing natural rivers and alluring dams, sits the beautiful Zaria village. The Zaria Village is a private gated community designed to be self-contained with every amenity desired for a home carefully considered. Our intentions is to ensure that when you dream it, you get a chance to own it and finally live it. The village comprises of a perimeter wall, a kindergarten, a commercial center and a clubhouse. There are tarmac roads, solar street lighting, 
an abundance of water and connectivity of electricity provided to each unit. There are four approved architectural house concepts, that is, the conventional and contemporary designs styled to accommodate your ideal dream home. The designs are named Zara, Zaira, Zazi, and Zayana. The clubhouse comprises of a spa, a massage parlor, a gym, a 30-meter swimming pool, and a lovely play area. The village has two recreational areas. The first is a beautifully landscaped area by River Mukuyu, which has a mesmerizing natural tree canopy, giving you a fantastic location to sit back and relax. The second is by Lake Zaad, a man-made two-acre dam reservoir with trees planted around it as a constant reminder of how well nature brings tranquility to the Zaria village. Past the commercial center and the central manned gate, there's a 15-meter road with trees planted on both sides leading to the first section of the project called the Green Gem. This is followed by the Grey Pearl that houses the clubhouse and Lake Zad, which has direct access to the river. The last section is the Golden Rod, a centrally located gem with stunning panoramic views. To the south is the river with its natural forest and to the far north is Nairobi City's glorious skyline. The surrounding neighborhood comprises of necessary amenities such as schools, hospitals and shopping centers. Several international schools such as Nova Pioneer, the Wood Creek School and Crawford International are within 15 minutes drive of the village. Hospitals such as the Gertrude's Children's Hospital in Muthaiga and the Aga Khan University Hospital in Parklands are within close proximity as well. Nearby malls such as the Two Rivers Mall, the Village Market, Roslyn Riviera and Thika Road Mall will be able to provide residents with all their shopping needs. The infrastructure has a six-month schedule for completion with work ongoing such as bush clearing and road grading. Indulge your senses and relive your childhood desires in a project that appreciates the delicate balance of a well-thought-out ecosystem that encourages thriving between flora and fauna. Welcome to the Zaria Village, where you can be free, be bold, and be at home. We believe you should dream it, own it, live it. For more details, call us on 0729-121212 or send an email to info at sic.co.ke We're taking a short break, but when we're back, we're going to look at the very first aspect of development, the controversies, the irregularities, and staggering loss of funds. I'm talking about land acquisition. You do not want to miss that conversation. This is Property Focus. In this segment, we're going to be tackling matters concerning purchase of land. Land acquisition and purchase just seems like such a complicated process. Is it really? Not really. Uh, land acquisition is a fairly simple and straightforward process for which one can acquire title to land. Mm -hmm. If you follow key steps and processes to ensure that you are able to do it efficiently and you acquire a good title. To your property. How do you tell a credible agent from one who's uh, fraudulent? The estate agency practice in this country is regulated by the estate agents registration board. So we have a board that issues licenses every year for professionals who are to act as estate agents okay. in the Republic. It is advisable before you engage 
anybody to advise you on acquisition of land or processes and take you through all the steps for you to acquire your land, mm -hmm. please confirm and verify that they are registered professionals. They are issued with a license that you can ask for a copy and if they are not able to give you a copy, then they are not uh, practicing professionals. So let's look at uh, buying land, a step-by-step -step process of purchasing land. How does one go about it? You have to identify the parcel of land you are interested in. So you have to go to site, view, uh, determine who the owner is, so you have to meet the owner. They give you the documentation to the land and once you have the documentation, which is the copy of title, mm -hmm. you can do your own search, which okay. we call due diligence to confirm that uh, the land that uh, you are purchasing is actually mm -hmm. owned by the person who is on the title. Mm -hmm. You do that at the Ministry of Land. So you apply for a search, you mm -hmm. lodge it on eCitizen, you are able to get your search certificate mm -hmm. which confirms the particulars of the title that you have. Uh, secondly, you, you would purchase uh, a survey plan uh, for which it locates the property on the specific uh, location that you have been shown on the ground. But you have to know the extent of the parcel that you're purchasing. And then you enter into agreement. You get a, an offer drawn by either an advocate or mm -hmm. uh, you get a standard agreement from the estate agent uh, of which stipulates the payment terms, uh, specifies the, the parcel you're buying and the amount of money you've agreed. And then uh, you enter into a sale agreement and it's deposited at the land's office mm -hmm. so that you are able to, to acquire the title mm -hmm. to the land after paying your paying the price that you've agreed. It's fairly simple as you can see. Yeah, I mean, it's if you it's just <laughs> follow that three-step yes. uh, process, yes. you're able to acquire a good title. How, how does one go about uh, now making the actual purchase? It's advisable to pay uh, transactions uh, through the bank account. So bank transfer or by check is advisable. So you keep track and have a record of the payment to the, to the owner. Uh, the check is usually drawn in favor of the owner uh, who is selling the land, mm -hmm. but if the owner advises that you pay through an advocate, you may do so, but it has to be clearly documented that you are paying to this particular account and for this particular parcel of land mm -hmm. that you are buying. Remember to carry out three things whenever you're doing this. One, carry out due diligence. Two, ensure you have proper documentation. And three, apply for transfer of title with the Ministry of Lands. Thank you very much for joining us on the show. Delighted to have you. I'm sure very many people are enlightened. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. And in our next segment, we're going to have the billboard. Stay tuned. Emali Plains, 50 by 100 plots, located just 2 kilometers from Emali SGR station and 1 kilometer off the Nairobi Mombasa Highway. Emali is only an hour away from Nairobi using the SGR. The plots are clearly marked and beaconed. Due to the rapid growth of the area, the plots are most ideal for farming, cottages, residential developments and investment speculations. It is close to the biggest SGR joint factory in Kenya and next to the already under construction Mombasa Express Highway. Offer price is 370,000 only. SMS Emali to 40299 to book your plot today. Emali Plains from AMG Realtors. Integrity. We are at Classic Mouldings along Mombasa Road in their showroom where we have captivating, exquisite, to die for interiors. They say it's the home of creative interiors. Come, let's go see. Wow, what amazing finishes. What a display. Let's learn about bringing life to your walls with the guru himself, Dishon Mwanza. 
Ah, yes. Hello, Peter. How are you doing? Good, good. Karibu sana Classic Thank Moldings. Thank you very much. Home of creative interiors. I hear you guys are the best. Classic Moldings is the home of premium interior design finishes. Tell me about your products. Karibu sana, we've got a variety of products. Yes. There is decorative finishes, okay. which are textured paints. Mm -hmm. We've got moldings, we've got natural stone. Okay. Yes. Ah, texturized finishes, you said. Yes. Tell me paints. about that. There are different types mm. of textured paint. There's one, there are some with visual texture, and there are some with both visual and tangible texture, like mm. culture cruder, mm. feel touch. So what factors does one need to consider before purchasing these texturized finishes? Well, first would be the space. Okay. Is it small? Is it big? If you have a small space, don't do a, a complicated texture. If you have a big space, you can go and do a feature wall with a complicated texture. So customer comes in, Purchases the product. Yes. Does he get his local fundi to come organize the whole thing, or what usually? Well, happens? there are two ways. Yeah. We'd recommend that you use classic molding to do the textured paints, the okay. application. But again, you are the client. You can buy the paint and then bring your fundi to us. We'll Fantastic. train your fundi, and he'll come and apply. Can I purchase these things off the rack, or does one need to import? Do they only come from Kenya? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've, yeah. got, we've got stocks, okay. it, we've got plenty of stocks available. So when you purchase, okay. you walk away with your product. Okay. Only in instances where we have massive projects is when we, have, we, and when we needed to import. Tell me about ways uh, classic molding is becoming a leader, a trendsetter in the industry. I will tell you for a fact that yes. classic moldings has disrupted the industry. First, we came, we were the first to come, with, come up with gypsum. We were the first to also do decorative paints. Now we have a new product called yes. tam, Tambour. Tambour. Yes, okay. which is a new line of flat paint that comes in a variety. Mm -hmm. It comes in different colors and it also has different finishes. So what trends is classic molding setting? Classic moldings has brought, all, the, all our products are green. That all means of all of them are green. They're not harmful to the environment, mm -hmm. even the occupants of the houses. They're not okay. harmful to them because okay. they do not have leads. Yes. And there you have it, from the guru himself of classic moldings. Now, how can we reach you? Okay, we've got two showrooms. One on Mombasa Road, opposite Airtel. The other is in Westlands, opposite Safaricom, New Safaricom. Mahigamairo Road, or you can get, you can call us, call our office 0721 123 123. Fantastic. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to us through these mediums. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. This is Property Focus, your window into the world of architecture, building construction, and real estate. Let's get the conversation going on social media. I am Peter Ngigi.